This is David D. No employee number needed. This one is on the house. And I got a lot of grievances with this one celebration known as the season of giving. Alias Christmas. But before I get into that, I got a few shout outs. Shout outs to Kwanzaa. Shout outs to Hanukkah. Shout outs to Winter Solstice. Shout outs to Las Posadas. Shout outs to Diwali. Shout outs to the Chinese New Year. And if you don't know what they are, then shame on you. Do a quick Google search. Do yourself the favor and educate yourself on the other winter celebrations. More importantly, Google Festivus because it's a festival for the rest of us. And if you don't know what that is, no soup for you because these pretzels are making me thirsty. Let's get into it, huh? Let's get into it. First of all, let's start with this rat bastard called Santa Claus. Eh? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better watch out. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sounds a lot like a stalker. He sounds a lot like the main protagonist in a horror movie. Why, as a child, are you telling me I better watch out, huh? That doesn't inspire me to have glee. That doesn't incite excitement. He knows whether I've been bad or good. What, 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 what's, what's going on here? Does Santa Claus work for the CIA or the NSA? Which is it, alias Chris Kringle? I'm on to you, you fat bastard. Your number one candidate for type 12 diabetes. You ain't gonna pull the wool over old Davy D's eyes, I'll tell you that much. Huh? And while we're on the subject, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus? First of all, your mom's a hoe. Let's get that out the way. Second of all, Santa Claus is the prime, the, 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 the poster child for infidelity. You mean to tell me he's flying all over the world kissing other people's mamas while Mrs. Claus is back at the spot holding down the crib? And we celebrate this man? I'm disgusted. He's not a good example for the kids. He's not a good example for me. He ain't a good example for nobody. I'm disappointed that we iconic vagabonds I don't need I don't need for it to be a word. I'm in my own zone, so it's a word for me. We don't need to, to iconicize I iconography I, iconograph I iconography you get what I'm trying to say. Don't try to, to, to stumble me on grammatic on on grammatics. All the rap bastards, Grammy Nazis out there, shut up. This is my platform now. Off of Santa Claus. Let's, let's get to his task force. His minions. Let's address the fact that Santa Claus owns a sweatshop. Can we be honest? Can we be honest with the fact that Santa Claus employs, while it may not be in the realms of child labor, of little person labor? He's abusive. He's oppressive, and he's inconsiderate. Let's not factor in, he doesn't pay any taxes, and probably has an offshore account in Sweden, which can't be traced. Where is Santa Claus getting all the money to make all these toys, air quotes, for free? Huh? How do we know that Santa Claus isn't a front for a money laundering business for the mob? Are you trying to tell me that old St. Nick, a.k.a. Chris Kringle, is in the mob? The dawn of the Arctic mob. First of all, it, one can argue that Santa Claus is a blood. <laughs> He's a gangster, rolling deep. How do we know that these toys, these toys aren't used as a front 
to smuggle drugs. First of all, he's breaking in your house. And I don't get it. Every year, we know that Santa Claus is going to break in. Nobody takes security measures. Everyone just lets him in all willy-nilly. We reward his grand larceny with milk and cookies. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. And, 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 and he, he's got, quote-unquote, mythical creatures. Ooh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. I present to you the hypothesis that Santa Claus is involved in illicit black market DNA tampering. Have you in your whole life ever seen a red nose reindeer so much that it glows? It was effervescent. It was fluorescent. It glowed in the dark. Huh? Rudolph is producing his own wattage, his own electricity. That ain't normal. That ain't God. I don't see no Rudolph in the Bible. Huh? Huh? What's going on here? Santa Claus should be filed a hefty fine from PETA. This is animal abuse. He's making these animals drag his fat behind. Oh, do you know how big the world is? And you got to stop at every house? He's the one being fed. He's the one being hydrated. These poor animals have to lug him without so much as let's leave some hay out for the reindeers let's leave some treats out for the a little water for the reindeers no it's all about santa claus and his money laundering drug racket and i won't stand for it i'm blowing the roof right off of this thing i'm blowing it wide open huh this is an exclusive christmas is a fraudulent celebration off the topic of santa claus Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Nay! Nay! It ain't fun, and I'll tell you why. First of all, what makes you think you're better than me because you had snow? Where I grew up, we didn't had no snow, eh? We had hot sun 365 days a year, and every four years, 366. We had no snow, we had no horses, and we had no open sleigh. You know what we had? We had a guy named Rufus who had two mules and a box cart. And that was the most delightful time any of us little youngins ever had. We hop on the back of the box cart, the mules going at 80 miles per hour. It was reckless endangerment, but we loved it because it was identifiable cultural fun. I don't need to have no snow to enjoy Christmas. I don't need, first of all, Frosty the Snowman is an alias for the local drug kingpin. We all know what the snowman is. If you don't know what the snowman is, Google Young Jeezy. Huh? I'll put you on to some things right here. Christmas ain't what you thought it was, kids. Christmas ain't what you thought it was. <laughs> Santa Claus is very real. And he ain't nice. Santa Claus is the villain in every Christmas story ever. And the man has whitewashed the image of Santa Claus to make you welcome him into, his, into your homes to do as he wishes. Santa Claus is monitoring you. Hence how he knows if you've been naughty or nice. That's none of his business. What if I want to be naughty? I enjoy being naughty. That's my prerogative. That's my constitutional right. If I want to go outside and give a rock bottom to the first candy cane sucking, carol singing, troglodyte I see, that is between me and my victim and none of Santa Claus business, you snitch. You know what they say, snitches get stitches. I ain't afraid to shank old Santa Claus. You might got candy inside of that big belly, you oversized pinata. Anyway, this has been a Davy D report. I 
hope you guys have a happy holiday. I encourage you to drop all these other celebrations and embrace Festivus. It is a celebration for the rest of us. And I'm out.